Hey again, it's Darren Gladstone from TheNextBench.com. How you doing? And what we're looking right here is the HPE Phoenix. Uh, we've talked about it a number of times on the blog. And uh, something came up recently. People were talking about how, it, okay, it's, it's a small case. It can accommodate a uh, good graphics card. It'd be a good mainstream gamer solution. But the thing I wanted to kind of point out today is uh, I wanted to tackle something I was concerned about when I first looked at it, how to change out a graphics card in this thing, because it is a small case. So let's just go under the hood and just get it, get to it. So what's restraining the side panel here is this is one little thumb screw. You pull that out, and the panel slides right off. All right, all right, here comes the fun part of the job, getting to dig into the guts of the machine. Now, originally I was thinking of testing myself with a little stopwatch and see how long it would take me to get into the guts of this thing. I mean, I was a little worried at first, actually, because, I mean, I got big, goony hands, right? I mean, how am I going to be able to get into all this stuff? Oh, well, by the way, that's it. I'm done. This bar, this is what you get when, you're, when, it, when you get out of the store. This is basically just to keep, to keep it secure in transit. After that, you don't need that, really. Just put it in the box and keep it secure. Don't, you're not moving this anywhere. All right. See, so once you take that and you remove this L bracket on the side that's securing the uh, graphics card, you're in. That's it. I mean, I got big goony hands, and uh, I was a little worried about how tightly packed things are in the case. Really isn't that tough. Just take a look around. Okay, so you got, okay, the, 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 the cabling here, that's a little tricky. I did talk to uh, John Gleason, product manager, about this, and, you know, he agrees. You know, maybe we'll, we'll see what happens down the road, but for the time being, it still is pretty uh, easy to track where things are going and how to, you know, navigate. So let me explain. Uh, I want to get this graphics card out, so this cabling is attached to the optional TV tuner card. So I'm just going to remove that, put it on the side over here, just to keep it out of harm's way. And then that's it. I have pretty much free and easy access to remove this. So you unplug the power to the graphics card. And then you have to remove the graphics card by there's a little toggle just down on the motherboard. That, it's, you'll feel it. You can't miss it. Once you hit that release, it pops right up. Now, there's enough room right back here, which I think is kind of neat, just so you can like edge out the card. And you can accommodate large cards. I mean, this is not small. This is a, I mean, this is a, a NVIDIA GTX 580. Not small at all. So it can fit in one of these cards. You can put in a uh, Radeon HD 7950. I even hear six, uh, the, the new uh, GTX 680s will fit in this too. I haven't had a chance to test that out yet. I will soon. Anyway, take a look. I mean, so from here, I got the RAM. These two retaining screws keep the hard drive bay in, in place. You can just pull those out. And one thing I will uh, just keep in mind, I mean, I was in, a, in my first time going through this, I, it was a bit of a sprint to get things done. So uh, I, in my haste, when I put the card back in underneath this cabling, I, I went a little too far and I knocked out the eSATA cable right there. And that connects the hard drives to the motherboard. So that's not a big deal. It's easy enough to catch. Just got to be a little careful. Can't be, can't be in a race trying to get this thing done under a minute, although I probably could. All right, so now once you, once you get it you know, situated right, you just firmly press in, hold down this, the opposite side as you're plugging in the graphics card because you don't want to unseat it. All right. There you go. So that's it. Take that, you take your optional TV tuner card, plug that back in, because Lord knows I love me some optional TV. And that's it. You screw the bracket back on, you put the top on it, and you're good to go. Now, I'm going to be, uh, like I said, I'm going to be using this computer as a test bed for all the new graphics cards coming out, and I uh, want to basically help, you know, give you advice, tips on how to optimize games to work on these computers, and also, uh, you know, if there's any, you know, quirks about the new cards, we can help spot them early. So I'm here for you guys. If you have any questions, uh, I'm checking the comments over at thenextbench.com. That is thenextbench.com. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.